Hello, welcome to another lemon-scented edition of Bad Creepypasta. Shadow Wolf can't be here. Folks around might think that he's crazy, but he's got to rescue Daisy. We're joined instead by Rob. Hey guys. And the, pizza. Yeah. and the story we're reading was requested by many of you, so the names of everyone who requested it is now on the screen. Probably. Uh, probably, if I remember to put it in. And if I missed you, then it's probably because I don't care. Um, the All story goes. is called Kirby's Deadland. One day, in September of 2012, my parents were at work and I was home alone. I decided to take out an old game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, trademark. I was ready for a wave of nostalgia. I popped the disc, I popped in the disc and hit start. Now the first thing to strike me as odd was that when the intro played, Kirby was missing and the rest of the characters did their normal animation, acting as if Kirby was there. As I reached the title screen, Kirby was still MIA, missing in action. Glad to know that he's a part of the armed forces. I ignored it and started a new game. The beginning cutscene was normal. Everything was fine until I entered Cookie Country. <laughs> we can't stop here, it's Cookie Country. As I entered the first level, the enemies looked sad and I swear that they had tears in their eyes as they died. <laughs> it only got worse from there. The enemies started looking sadder and had fresh scars that bled realistic blood. Was it hyper realistic? <laughs> As I got, well, yeah, what the fuck does hyper realistic blood even mean? Is, that, is it the screen going to be sticky when you touch it? I'm just wondering, how can someone be an enemy when they're pretty much self harming and self defeated already? I, I don't. Mean, surely all you've got to do is just go and say, you know what, getting rid of those extra few pounds is not going to happen. And that's it, they'll just pop themselves off. Kirby can just go through this. I think you've come up with a new idea of a game, just you just go around and insult a bunch of fab people and kill themselves. <laughs> Wasn't that game called Bully? <laughs> Didn't actually release that on the week? I was going to it in an American high school where you get all the t um, cheerleaders to top themselves. <laughs> oh, bit off topic, but still. <laughs> yeah, moving swiftly on, as I got to the boss, I chose the fire coffee ability. The colour was a crimson red. As I climbed down the ladder... <laughs> well, as opposed to the blue kind of red. <laughs> oh, this one's a nice aqua red. I screamed at what I saw. Wispy Woods. <laughs> Such a whimsical name. Wispy Woods had glowing red eyes with alpha oh, with Hang blood on. pouring out of the eyes and mouth. Did you ever watch um, like those old shows, Jack and Ori from the 70s, when yeah. they're reading from the book? Wispy Woods got out of the <laughs> Wispy Woods had glowing red eyes <laughs> with blood pouring out of the eyes and mouth. <laughs> Jack and Ori wants the story. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Fucking Andy Peters. Pieces of bark were torn off, <laughs> and the <laughs> leaves, were, and the leaves were stained with blood. It's so hard to like, you know, oh, it's so trying to be really intimidating, like you know, creepy at wispy words. Ooh. <laughs> and then Andy Pandy pulled out the knife and gutted the hooker. <laughs> A text box appeared, and in red oozing letters, it read, "You." You did actually. You know what? It's written in lowercase and capitals, so this is gonna be really strange to read. You, you, you did th this to me. We finished here. I was shocked at the evil little smile <laughs> at the poor language. For those of you who don't know, um, he was actually spinning around on a merry-go-round when he done that, which is why he goes loud and quiet all the time. That's how he got that effect. <laughs> As I did a fire attack on the tree, the rest of the bark was burnt to ashes. The smooth surface was tainted with blood. He shook the leaves, and those spiked enemies fell out splattered with blood. They looked determined to kill Kirby, as I defeated Wispy. <sighs> so riveting. Right, for once, can someone change blood to something like custard? Yeah. I've had enough of them always going, they spit with blood, or realistic blood, or something like that. <laughs> or some other in, <laughs> yeah. in some sort of other... Um, I cut his neck and tear, tears yeah. came out. Just like any, yeah, coffee. Just, just fresh fresh coffee. fucking anything. I, gu I gutted the man and Vicks vapor rub poured out all over my hands. <laughs> my eyes started streaming because I'm allergic to eucalyptus. <laughs> Uh, as I defeated Wispy, he fell over and his roots tore out on the ground with blood to follow. With You know what, I'm replacing blood with Vic's Vapor Rub now. With Vic's has... Vapor Rub to follow. Kirby did his happy dance to no music. The same repeated for the rest of the areas, especially the morbid looking bosses. But Landia was the worst. Its eyes were black sockets with tears streaming from them. Vic's Vapor Rub stained its whole body. <laughs> Kirby, I shall not let you. Let him do what? As I entered the second phase of the battle, I heard a... <laughs> From the speakers. He was a pirate. 
I stared horrified as they left their makeshift body to decay as organs and Vic's vapor rub soon <laughs> fell out. It took only a few blows to defeat it. The screen cut to black. I didn't get scared because it happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking excuse me. Hang on, what's the point in a new story, Ben, if yeah, this is how the game normally plays? I decided to get out of this whole classic game and it's filled with lots of violence and gore and Vic's vapor rub and <laughs> Then after the gruesome battle with Landy, the next level started, its name was No is near mid Ed. This scared me because it was dead dimension backwards. I was in the area. Wow! <laughs> I can spell backwards! Quick, we get get someone to break this code! We need a cipher for this one! I was in the area where you fight Luckily, Magalor. we had the Enigma machine from World War II to figure out what the code was. <laughs> With occasional graphic glitches. After a loud blast of static noises, Magalore's soul appeared. This was strange, considering Ty, I was on normal mode. Oh my god, his appearance was dot 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 horrific. His eyes widened, with two uh, completely black with two glowing red pupils. One of his wings torn off and red mist spewing from the wound. And instead of his normal roar, loud Vix Vapor Rub curtling screams. The music started and it was very low and greatly sped up. The first time I hit him, he started his death animation. The creepy unused Magalore death sound played. Then a loud static noise played for a few minutes. I thought it would stay like that after a few minutes of waiting. I was about to shut off the Wii when... Hang on a minute. He's going to get nostalgic for a game on the Wii. I sure said at the beginning of this, he was like, I'm ready for a wave. It's a fucking Wii game! It can't be any older than 2006. <laughs> when something popped up, I shrieked. Kirby had an eerie grin. <laughs> With Vic's vapor up staining <laughs> his fang-like teeth. The arms of Waddle Dee were stitched to his body. <laughs> <laughs> the legs of King DDD <laughs> King DDD <laughs> And the wings of Meta Knight were stitched too A text box appeared that read In the red oozing letters You're next I screamed again as I heard a distorted laugh The intro came with Kirby missing and morbid characters The warp star was, all, was also stained with Vicks Vapor Rub <laughs> The title read in the same text Kirby's Deadland as my parents walked through the door, I ran and hugged them, tears streaming down my face. Since then, I was never able to play that game. So far, the anniversary game has been going well, but I refuse to do the Dreamland part. Right, um, this was on a different website, so there aren't actually... Um, no, just read the bottom. Here. So there aren't actually any reviews, but the person who posted it on this website, which is uh, quotev.com, said, OK, this isn't the best creepypasta, and it's very <laughs> cliched. The person who wrote this creepypasta... It's the first one he has written, so be nice. No. 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 <laughs> P.S. wasn't me who wrote the, these creepypastas, okay? Right. Um, well, let's see. Uh, it's, I think it's almost... It's probably like scientifically impossible to try and make something Kirby-related, you know, horrifying or scary in any way, especially if you're using wispy willows and various other... Like, yep. Oh, and then Kirby was there, and he had blood around his mouth, and he was so adorable, I had to hug him. <laughs> the thing is, like, well, the problem with this story uh, is it's not the worst story we've ever read, but it's the lamest, I think, it's, we've it's ever read. The most, like, you, know, you could just change the names to Sonic. and Yeah, like, that's the thing. Just There was nothing Kirby about it. I think that's the problem. There was nothing from the, <laughs> the really, you know, like... The names of the things. It wasn't like about. Yeah. It wasn't like about Kirby in any way. Like you, you're absolutely right. You hit the nail on the head. It's like you could get Sonic and you just be like, Sonic had tails, his two tails stitched to his rectum. Do you know what I mean? It would be the same story. Like it wouldn't make any difference. It's just that Dreamland and Deadland kind of go together. And the, t the title's bad. Um, it sucks. It's a piece of crap. Rob, yeah, I'm with you on this one. This is. I mean, no. Uh... Wait, what? Well, like back to the titles. What's like Kirby's Nightmare Land? Just like too much of a stretch. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so are we done with this? Yeah, there's... Any more thoughts on Kirby's Deadland? It doesn't deserve another thought, no, really. Thank, thank you to all the people who sent it to us. You're uh, sadistic individuals. Thank it's you. Still, at least it's not Thomas. Actually, hang on. Surely, surely we should be more having to go at the people who suggested this. They've inflicted more horror upon us. Yeah. <laughs> but it's our own fault, because when we sit there and go, oh, you know, we were like, subscribe, or if you'd like to know what the script press to be doing next, leave it in the comments. Yeah, I you know, fucking hate our, that guy. It's our own fucking fault. Yeah, which twat does that? Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then click here to subscribe. 
You might also like my new channel. If you have any feedback on this video, or you'd like to have a say on which story we read next, then feel free to use the comment section below. Have a fantastic day.